Um, may I please have the Mac Chicken Deluxe Spicy Meal? And a drink? Sorry? Mac Chicken Deluxe Spicy? Yes. And a drink? Um, may I please have a bottle of water? Okay. Actually, can I please change my order? I'm so sorry. Okay. Can I please have the double quarter pounder? Okay. With water. Thank you. Thanks. McDonald's. Hey guys. So I've been thinking. It is the 14th today. Uh, yeah, the 14th of December. And I feel like hopping on Vlogmas. I know I'm very late. I think the reason what made me late is because I disappeared for a very long not disappeared, but I went on holiday for a while, like a week. Then I came back and I had so much work to do, like in terms of meeting um deadlines for brands and stuff like that so now i'm like okay i think i have some time to like do other stuff and i was like okay let me just hop on vlogmas so yeah this is my first day of vlogmas i know i'm like 14 days late i do apologize but better late than never right guys i finally got this wig bag i had like a disaster with the closure because i thought i was like some hair guru and i decided to customize my closure and i completely messed it up so i had to order a new closure and take it in it smells amazing to get it redone so right now i'm back bitches i, I feel like i should i should have worn straight hair today though because it's so hot but anyway i'm in malrose i'm collecting stuff from someone and they're running late so i've been chilling in the car now i'm wondering why is it so up close and personal three minutes away you said you were 10 minutes away like 15 minutes ago yeah so i was in i came to cremerville quick because i thought they closed at five but apparently they closed at four on uh friday and i actually wanted to go to that furniture shop there Cougar. They have some really beautiful furniture. I'm looking for some stuff for my dining room. I need I need um, dining room tables and I also need uh, two occasional chairs for my living room and I also need some furniture for my beauty room. So I'll have to come back. Tomorrow they close at 2.30. That's a bit tight. So I might need to come back on Monday. Do you want to be in my vlog? Do you want to be in my vlog? My blog. Do you want to be honest? Do you want to introduce yourself? Are you camera shy? I'm at Postgate in Santon and this is Bailey. Nice to meet you. He's helping me send out my um, package to my competition winner. I'm sending it so late because I haven't gotten around to sending it, but finally sending it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Understandable, understandable. How long does it take to get to Swaziland? Swaziland, without any delays. And that's maybe if you want to send it to your post it was it's better than Twitter. So send it to a post net Yeah, now. because shoot, DHL go to the actual address of the door. She's not there. She's not there. It's going to be a bigger problem. I have so much. Rather send it straight to your post it, then that person can go back to the post it. Mm. In that manner, the person can see for you. Why? That is a lie. <laughs> a lie in the heart. Guys, so I'm at um, Camera Land in Santon. I, I I, 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 I I'm getting a charger for my camera. Because I think I misplaced my battery charger. Thousand 
Shay. Does it come with a battery? No. How much is a battery? Yeah, it's a top one. Same price. Huh? Yeah. The battery's 1.9. You guys are joking, right? No. Sure, Jagger. Sounds a little addictive to me. It's original. Uh, okay, I'll take the charger only. I'm not dying for a battery right now. Thank you so much. What's that table called again? The one that I want to put against the wall? Console. Console. Where can I get one? Yeah. So in the new year, guys, this is my mirror. They delivered a mirror for me. That's gonna go over there against the wall. So excited! I can't wait to see it. Pencil. Pencil. Um, let me check my handbag for you. So this is the stuff that people donated for the clothing bag. Hey guys, so I'm finally home. I think you guys probably saw that um, because I was showing you guys when they went stolen my mirror. I'm so excited. So I just want to show you guys the delivery that arrived today from Wet and Wild. Shout out to Wet and Wild, by the way, for this package. Um, let me just do this like our unboxing style by the way it is thundering i think i need to sit down let me get a chair i gotta stay hydrated Surely I'm not the only one who does this when I get home. Okay, anyway. Who's texting me? So this is the paper bag that they sent the stuff in. And the first packet has Wet n Wild brushes. I don't even know Wet n Wild has brushes. I've never seen them in store. Maybe they recently launched them. But these are really stunning. They're like white and they have pink ombre. Um, situation going on at the top and yeah these they sent me six brushes and I'm really excited about that because I've been talking about getting new brushes so shout out to you guys I really need new brushes they sent me one of the liquid lipsticks behind the bleaches uh, they're saying this is new I do have some lipsticks like this from wet and wild but I think maybe this is new formula and they also sent me three i mean four of the liquid highlighters which i'm really excited to try i've never really been a fan of liquid highlighting because you know how i bake so putting a liquid on top of a powder i don't know how that's really going to work but i think this is something that i can even use under my foundation so that my glow can come through but this is what they look like and as you guys can see they have different shades they also sent me these liquid eyeshadows they say this is the liquid cat suit. Oh my gosh, these colors. I'm dying. Literally, this green here is making me go crazy. Can you guys see them? I'm so sorry about the quality of this video. This is like a black with glitter, obviously shimmering. Um, this is like a champagne gold. This is more of like a, a brownie gold. And I'm obsessed with this emerald. I can't wait to 
try these out. Maybe I should create like a holiday makeup look. It's almost the, it's almost time now. Foundation. So this is this is gonna cry. You know, it's in wild for some time. You see, they do not um, cater for women of color. It seems like they have um, launched some darker shades out of their foundation range. I don't know. Some people say they've always had darker shades, but honestly, the clicks I've been to, like seeing why do my armpits look so dark? Okay, now they look normal. I was about to say, I don't have dark armpits. So, I'm saying the clicks that I've been to, I've never really seen um, Wet n Wild having dark darker eyes um, foundations these aren't really the darkest they could have come out with like the darker shades of mahogany but i mean at least they've, they're starting somewhere and they're trying so i think this is a setting spray yeah this is a natural finish setting spray uh toffee and caramel it looks like i would most probably be toffee the caramel looks like it has quite the yellow undertone this is their photo focus foundation by the way do you guys want me to do a review let me know if you guys would like me to do a review it can be part of my vlogmas special and then they also sent me coca coco um why is this not focusing girlfriend come on also sent me coco as well as mahogany and espresso so yeah i love that they sent me a whole bunch of shades so that if none of them are my perfect shade i can obviously mix them Thank you, Wet n Wild. Oh, they also sent me a primer. I can literally create a look, guys, like for real. So they also sent me a primer as well. This is a mattifying primer, which is great because I have oily skin. And they also sent me their Mega Slim Skinny Mascara as well as some lip liners. Um, two different shades of red. A plumish slash pinkish shade as well as a baby pink shade. And there's more. This is like the best gift. Uh, oh, they also sent me a booklet which basically speaks about each product. And what else is in here? They sent me their Lash Renegade mascara, which I already have, as well as their Wet n Wild retractable brow pencil, which looks like it's black. I hope it is not black. What shade is this? Medium brown, perfect. And then in here is a box and this has eyeshadows. I can literally create a look. I can literally create a look. So they have their little, um, oh my gosh, they're saving so much product. You guys are amazing. I think I need to do a giveaway as well because I'm probably not going to get around to using everything. So here are some of the eyeshadows. So they sent me their... Um, this is obviously like a plum palette. I don't know what it's called. Palate. Petalette. Petalette. I don't know how to pronounce that. But it's got like pink purples. And they also sent me the new one, which is the Silent Treatment. And it's got more browny gray tones and like cool browns. And they also sent me one with warm browns as well as like a green. And this is hooked on Vin... Vinyl? My pronunciation is disgusting and they also sent me um, a new one which is walking on eggshells and this is very soft um, bronze and a little bit of like a shimmery goldy champagne color as well as a dark one which is lights out and this has a black sort of like a greeny gray and white which is like your typical um, smoky eye palette and then they also sent me New Look, which is also a new one. And this is a slightly bigger palette. And this is, it has mattes and shimmers, which is great. It has burgundies, goldy champagnes, and so on. And they sent me their single eyeshadows. Um, just so you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see. This is a new one called Natty. Um, Envy is also a new one. I know it's probably like pointless showing you guys without swatching them. Sugar, which is almost like a whitey champagne. Um, this is a new one. This is Brule, which Mac had. I don't know if it was called Brule, but um, Mac had something like this. And it was amazing for when I was still learning how to do makeup, like highlighting and whatnot. 
And they sent me new shades as well, like Moonchild and Mesmerized, which are pinky purples. Well, purple, this is more of a purple, and this is like a midnight blue purple. As well as Panther, which is looks like a matte black to me. And then they also sent me their cushion color corrector. So they sent me a green one. I'm not going to open them. So the green one would be to correct redness for people who are fair. I've never tried a green corrector on myself. And this is um, brightness, brightens dullness. So this one's for redness and this one brightens dullness. So it has a yellowy orange undertone, I'm assuming, according to the package. And this would obviously be something that I could use on myself. They also sent me one of the glitter... Um, um, what do I call this? It's like a glitter, a compact glitter sort of situation. And they also say, I love Wet n Wild lipsticks, you guys know this. And this is in the shade Never Nude. Girl, I'm a nude girl. These are amazing, like they're matte, but they're comfortable mattes, they're not drying. So thank you so much Wet n Wild for the stuff. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I also want to show you guys what I also bought at the mall. Um, because a lot of people ask me to do like luxury unboxing, and to be quite honest, I'm not really keen on that. Not that I'm not keen, but I'm the type of person where when I buy something, I buy it after I wanted it for a very long time, or I'd get it like okay, well, when I had a boyfriend, I'd get a gift from my boyfriend, and then I want to wear it like same time. So I've never really gotten around to doing like a luxury item unboxing, but I'm guessing I can do it now. So I decided to spoil myself at Louis Vuitton and um, got this from Santon. I got myself a pair of shoes, sandals that I've been wanting for the longest time ever. I've been wanting these since before I went to Thailand. Um, I just never got around to getting them before I left because I was in such a hurry and also I sort of had to budget for the trip as well so I was like let me not like spend money while I'm still in SA let me rather get there have fun and then if I'm comfortable afterwards I can like splurge because I also got myself a handbag while I was there from YSL which was actually 30% off which is great and I ended up getting the bag um, a smaller bag that I than I had initially wanted so I got it for like quite a discounted price and um it was quite a steal compared to the bag that i wanted it originally so i had some money left out of my spoiling myself money so anyway when you purchase you get a receipt which um, is from lv and i think they have a 14 day return policy i'm not too sure but anyway this is what your receipt looks like and i don't know if you guys want to know the price of the sandals um, I often feel uncomfortable telling people how much I spend on stuff because it's usually a situation of like well some people will make you feel bad for spending that much on a sandal but anyway so this is the box and it opens like this and then each shoe has its own duster bag um, I have sneakers from LV and the duster bag was never this big I think maybe they were just running out of duster bags and they gave me like gigantic ones but this is the sandal I got. I'm so obsessed. How stunning. I've literally been wanting this shoe for the longest time. I want this buckle to stay down. Um, very simple. I don't like extremely loud designer items. I mean, it does have LV written all over it, but you'd have to look closely to see that if I'm wearing it. Actually, I would notice because sort of a designer whore i love designer items i love luxury items and yeah this is the sandal i got myself from louis vuitton louis vuitton and i got um a 36 and a half which i'm feeling a little bit because usually um i'm either a three under four in general but i found that with the sneakers i got from there that were size four they were a little bit big like when i wear them my foot sort of slips out so i bought the 36 and a half in the sandal but when i purchased it my feet were swollen and i felt like they were they were a bit small but now they fit pretty comfortably i still have 14 days to think about if i want to go swap them for a 37 so um yeah i'm obsessed with this purchase obsessed and i'm the type of person where i really need to think about things before i get them because spending your own money is not fun guys but it's really not fun like you know it's really not fun but okay anyway i wanted to, i wanted the sandal and right now i don't have anyone to get it for me so 
gotta get it yourself baby girl gotta get your own i'm gonna edit my thailand vlog now i know you guys have been waiting for it like every single time i upload a video you guys are like where's the thailand vlog so i'm editing that now but i think i'm first gonna edit this so i can actually upload it tonight um because i want to keep up to date with the vlogmas days i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog don't forget to like this video comment down below and also subscribe to my channel um let me know if you guys are excited about me joining vlogmas as well you guys get to see me every day for the rest of december oh and if you guys are wondering where this hair is from it is from shazzy from Sharon, Shazilicious, but now her handle is Inches by Shaz. I will leave a link to her Instagram handle down below. So yeah, loves, I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. I feel like I've said that for like a hundred times. But anyway, yeah, I will catch you guys uh, tomorrow. Enjoy your evening and have a happy, happy holiday. Mwah.